Well, hello YouTube! This week I'm back with yet another rant about TV and things and feelings about TV shows. So, this past Monday, the series finale of How I Met Your Mother aired, and I like this show a lot. I used to watch it when it first aired with my dad every Monday night, and I stopped watching it. During senior year of high school, I was like, I need to find more TV shows to watch after watching, like, 30 Rock and Parks and Rec and Doctor Who and everything. And I was like, what's that show that I used to like? Oh yeah, How I Met Your Mother. So I went and watched all of it on Netflix, and I realized how great it is because it's really funny and it's so well written and then it's really heartfelt and it's really, really good. And I'm really angry about things. First 10 minutes of the episode, Barney and Robin get divorced. What? Why? 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 You built up a whole- the whole ninth season was their wedding and then the first 10 minutes of the two-parter finale, you get and you divorce them. I like that they show like flashbacks and flash forwards and stuff like that but it was kind of really frustrating when we don't we didn't know the mother's name until the last few minutes of the episode we don't actually know how they really met until the very end of the episode and all of this stuff is revealed beforehand before you actually know when they meet when Ted actually meets her I just really didn't enjoy the fact that it was all around Robin and Barney's divorce and then what happened when they all separated. It was just really bothering me because I wanted it to all be about like how he met the mother and there's a whole really amazing moment in the beginning when he sees her playing in the band and then it then he's like no I gotta go to Chicago. I'm like no go talk to her. Oh my god like I knew from past seasons that he was gonna meet her at the train station because that's what they showed but still it's very frustrating when Things are not shown in places and oh my god. Well, I, li I liked the writing throughout most of it was really good. I, d I felt there were very heartfelt moments like when they when Ted and the mother discovered that they were pregnant. Lily and Marshall, still adorable. And I think everybody is really mad about this, the fact that they alluded to the fact that the mother was going to die and then they actually did kill her off. I was very pissed off about that because it's the mother the whole reason for the show and then you just kill her off with one line by saying that she got sick. You don't say how, you don't say what actually happened, you just say she got sick. That's like when on Glee they didn't talk about how Cory Monteith's character Finn died and they just said oh he died. TV shows need to stop doing that, stop killing off characters not saying why they're dying, it's ridiculous. And then, okay. The two kids, whatever Fonseca, her whatever name is, and David Henry, they've known the ending of this show for nine years, and they knew that the mom was going to get killed off, and then that Ted was going to go after Robin the same way he did 24 years before with the blue horn, and I just screamed at my computer and I was really, really angry because that's not how I wanted the show to end. It should have just ended with the umbrella, and I thought it was really cute, that umbrella scene, that they have the same initials. I thought that was adorable. Series finales are always so terrible and good and amazing and bad because usually they tie up loose ends, but then they do something that makes you really, really angry and it can't be redeemed in another episode because the show's over. If you have any opinions about How I Met Your Mother, the TV show, the finale, anything about it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch my latest video here, subscribe here, follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram here, and in the description. DFTBA, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!